Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin, and today we have a bit of a grindy-ish sort of episode. We are going to be creating a big bay in front of uh, the, the town of Riverton. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Before we get started today, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with random videos and streams in between. If you didn't catch last episode, we went ahead and finished up this floor. Oh. Oh, how am I going to get down? I guess I'm going to have to go through here. We finished up this floor and started finishing up the top of this uh, roof in the mansion. And it's about to be nighttime. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to, uh, you know, sleeping. But today I wanted to continue clearing out. Well, actually, I wanted to clear this out. Um, I'm going to set up a little base right here because I want this whole land mass right here to be gone. <laughs> I want this all to be water right here and I think we'll be able to do it. So if I start by just placing, you know, just a few little chests here and there, that's not what I wanted. We can begin the clearing process. And yes, I know today is somewhat grindy, but you know, you have to have the grindy episodes with the fun episodes in order to have the big builds, which we will be doing more of soon and we'll finish this up. But for now, I wanna do this project, which is clearing out this whole area and turning it into a bay. Now, I think the first order of business is I wanna create a new coastline that we're going to follow. And I think I'm gonna do that by digging this out and Everything past this line, I'm going to obviously cut down and clear out, but everything up here, I'll shape. Um, and it's not that much. Well, it's a lot of land. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of land. So I just need to. OK, well, hold on. Hold on. I don't want to. There we go. I don't want to have like a completely flat area, so. Let's do this, but wh basically what I'm going to do, sorry, I'm just trying to think and, you know, just woke up, everything is not flowing yet, but basically what I want to do is just kind of draw a line in the sand, if you will, to create a new shoreline, which I think it's, it's not too far. We just have to go a little over here. Okay. This is actually kind of far. We just have to go a little over here. And then out this way and ow. Yeah, I think I'm going to start by clearing the trees in the path that I want, but actually no, no. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start from this side because it'll be easier and I can match it. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back once I get my line drawn. All right. Now that I've got my uh, things sorted out, my line. I'm going to go ahead and just start chopping everything I see down. This will be a great way to get wood and well, I mean, yeah, it'll be a great way to get wood. I'm going to have way too much dirt after this, but you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it, but now I'm just going to keep building or not building, keep cutting these down and yeah.
right, the end of day one and made some good progress, starting to see some, what is it? See some damage to the forest. Trees like this, I'm just gonna burn, honestly. You know, there's no point in keeping them. Trees like this, honestly, are the annoying because, or the most annoying because I don't have them breaking three on this pickaxe. I've got mending though, which is nice. Or pickaxe, I said pickaxe, I meant axe. Um, I've got mending though, which is nice, but right now I'm just trying to cut a line in the trees that follows my current line. And yeah, that one's, okay. So we're actually pretty close, which means I'll be able to start like just moving in that direction because the line is confusing and when it's just like blah, 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 yeah. when there's all these short trees there we go uh it gets hard to you know tell where a log is where one isn't and i'll probably cut like border trees like this because i mean well no i'll burn that one but yeah anyway i'm gonna keep on keeping on
Ah, all right. We're going to have to take a break from uh, chopping the wood because I have 24 durability left on my diamond axe. But I think that everything is going smoothly so far. Um, I've just been doing time lapses because this is taking a while. And yes, I know the faster way is... Uh, what's it called? The faster method of doing this is just burning the forest down. But I mean, we are like, this is key resources here. And since I primarily build out a wood, it's going to be great to have all of these resources. Now I'll probably, I'll probably run through these pretty quickly with all the building after, but Hey, I'd much rather take the resources from this then you know miss out and i think there's a tree right here yeah but yeah i'd much rather take the resources from doing all of this and opening up this land so that we can build a bay uh <laughs> then you know having uh burning it and then losing it all because i think let's see i should have a ton of resources over here um I'm not sure though. Let's see. My fish, you know, they're doing all right. Like, yeah, look at that. Uh, plenty of saplings. Uh, I, well, plenty of spruce sapling. Well, not spruce saplings. Uh, whatever these are. <laughs> Birch and oak. Plenty of sticks. Lots of apples. Um, but look at all that wood we're getting. Surprisingly enough. There's not that much uh, birch, but I've got to head over. Oh, I should have brought my boat. Actually, I could take my boat from here over there. I still have to fix right there, um, but that'll be something I can do later down the line. I think that, mm, yeah, I think that uh, I'll like merge it into this because this is going to be the new coast. And we're going to completely open up that area in, um, in front of us, which should be good. It should look nice. So I'm going to go ahead and sit at the mob grinder for a little bit and repair my axe <laughs> because I need it. Um, and then we'll just continue on with clearing the trees. And then we got to clear all of the dirt and make it level with sea level and then dig out all of that and then fill in like the areas where there's like giant caves and whatnot.
All right, end of day, whatever, and I'm waiting for the sun to go down so these bees move. Oh, they were just broken. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I've been collecting the beehives, so hopefully <laughs> we can make more progress. Um, this is actually proving to be a lot bigger of a task than I originally estimated. Um, but like I said, I have mending on all my tools and everything, and the good thing about my axe is that it has doesn't have unbreaking three, so it's quicker to mend. Um, the downside is it's taking a lot longer than expected, but I think episodes like this always tend to do well because the payoff is just so good. So I'm just at this point, I'm going to stop with the time lapses and I'm just going to power through to the end. So I will see you once this is all completely cleared of trees and then we'll, you know, use the flint and steel on those guys over there the big trees well we're down to the last final bit um i <laughs> i'm just gonna burn the rest honestly there's no point in you know grasping for this extra wood this extra wood i just wanted to get the majority of it and how much do i have left on here 14 nah, i'll just burn the rest yeah i got plenty of wood um but <laughs> come along finally cl ah, finally cleared all this out so pretty soon this should be all flattened out um which is kind of annoying because now <laughs> now is the fun part of digging everything i think i'm just gonna like just go line by line and then i i i, I don't know how i'm gonna purchase if I'm honest, but I'm just going to continue on with what we're kind of doing. Maybe dig up a little, uh, what's it called? Uh, dig up like row by row. Um, that shouldn't be an issue though, because I mean, I've got a very powerful shovel. So let's go ahead, put this stuff away. Um, I'm going to switch to have this in my offhand, so whenever I have stuff like this, thank you. Uh, yeah, then, yeah, let's just go get some flint and steel. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Now, this is always the fun part, burning stuff down. What? I just got to make sure I set enough fire for it to spread. I don't want any, any stragglers, and I also don't want to fall down this again. Uh, let's see. Uh, got this. Wow, there's a lot of, uh, caves in here. I can't believe this is how the landscape used to look. Like, just this bare, bare, like, well, this is how the beta landscape used to look. All right, let's burn you. Ow. Oh, I'm on fire. There we go. Let's make sure all this is burning. And then we can... Oh, gonna have to get that when all the bees are in. How am I on fire again? Ow. 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 There we go. Alright. I think these trees should burn. So once everything's on fire, I'll just let it burn and, you know, we'll pick up from there. Wow, it is rather hot. <laughs> just kidding. It just sounds very hot. And I think this is the last... Okay, so I guess netherite gives you good inherent fire protection. I didn't know that. Or it doesn't take damage from fire damage. Wow, that, that burned quickly. Oh boy. Well now here we have the open area. Oh, got one little straggler. Come here. This will be the plan for the bay. Uh, don't think I'm going to have time to finish this entire thing, but you know what? I can try. I can just start narrowing everything down. Um, it should go pretty fast with my chauvel, but we're just going to figure out what we can, um, what we can do with this area and what we can get done today. 
because it is late ish sunday night so yeah i still gotta edit it too remember that all right but i'm gonna be smart about this and i'm gonna fill up my inventory with blocks i do want to pick up but also blocks i like don't blocks i do want to pick up but also blocks to fit the space because yeah i don't i don't i don't need all the dirt i'm about to get i think i'm gonna start with the dirt and then you know just go with the stone and i'm just gonna let the game deal with all the entities and just gonna start digging away Wow, so that is a very large dent. Uh, <laughs> crazy thing is, I don't even know if we're halfway done. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, no, we're we still got some uh, good chunk to go, but we got a huge chunk done right now. I'm gonna go ahead and. You know kind of go refill these uh tools and then we'll jump back into it um and then i think we'll wrap up today's episode uh and we'll fill up the we'll fill it up with water um either on stream or uh some other time or off camera completely but i'm glad we're doing this um it's something that it's one of those minecraft tasks that you just have to you just have to honestly just rip off the band-aid <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and repair my tools and we'll keep going from here Ugh, okay another shovel down or another shovel life down and we're, we're we're chewing away we're chewing away um this is a lot of <laughs> this is a big area this is definitely a bigger area than I estimated originally, but I think I'm good for one more shovel life cycle. And then I'm going to have to call it quits. It's about 930 at night uh, at the time of recording this. Um, and we'll put a pause on this project uh, for the week. Um, and I may pick it up on a live stream. I may, you know, pick it up on uh, something else. But yeah, I think 
I think uh, we have done quite enough work uh, this episode. <laughs> so I don't think you guys will get too mad at me if I pause this and, you know, come back to it at a later date. Now, I'm going to want to sleep first because I got attacked by phantoms uh, while I was out here. <laughs> so we will make sure that I have, um, you know, a good enough... <laughs> that I have like some sleep and everything and I'm gonna go ahead and you know we'll also make sure that this is all you know looks nice and kind of creeps its way down to the water line I just had to do a big area of you know nothingness now could I take this and use it uh for land in Riverton yes I could I could I could do that um but I always wanted Riverton to be on a large body of water. So we're going to go ahead and clear this out and make it a bay because I can always expand further back um, and out to here and so on and so forth. All right. One last final push before we call it a day here. Oh, got to do this so I don't pick up a ton of dirt before we call it a day here. And... I think we'll be able to do this, but I'm going to do another time lapse. I know this episode has mostly been uh, time lapses, but hey, sometimes you just got to get the dirt. <laughs> sometimes you just got to get the dirty work done, right? Yeah. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention and my shovel broke. Oh well, I already have some other extra netherite laying around. Well, I've got the ancient debris, so no worries. I can make a new netherite shovel and re-enchant it. Ah, and I got mending, so, uh, but that kind of stinks. That was my first netherite shovel. I at least wanted to save it, but 
I got some uh, time got away from me, but that's all right. Quick look at the progress we've made. Um, we actually made a ton. You know, I didn't think I'd make this much. I'm still kind of sad about my shovel, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll make a new one uh, off camera. Um, but look at all this progress we've made. Now we have. Excuse me. I, now we have. Uh, all of this. Get out of here. Vast expanse, which did not take as long as I thought it would, but you know, it's we're chipping away, and then we're gonna have to come through and get all this stone. But I remember when it was big clearing out the little fountain area, but I mean, now look at this. I know I always said I wouldn't do like huge mega projects, but again, this is, you know, doable for someone like me. It just takes some time. But if you have a, if you have a few like hours or so that you go play, you can easily clear something like this with the right tools. I mean, well, I mean, look, I just did it. Um, but yeah, so gonna wrap everything up for today it may be a shorter episode it may be a longer episode i don't really know half of the clips are time lapses but we'll see how uh we can you know get everything ready for uh the bay yeah sorry random pause right there but anyway guys thank you all for watching today i hope you enjoyed the episode like i said i know it was a little bit more grindy but you have to do some of the grindy episodes in order to afford the good building episodes or the good adventure episodes. Next episode, we'll take a break from this, put a pin in it, <laughs> and we will go ahead and it depends. I'm feeling adventurous, so I might go on a mining adventure. You know, we haven't done that in a long time. Or, depending on Optify and the stuff, we might build an iron farm. I know I've been teasing that for so long now. I'm just waiting for a few things to update with 1.21, and we'll get on to that. But until next time, this has been Back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin. Peace.